in this video i will show you how you can define material properties for your project for example you want to define the material property for concrete section for rebars for reinforcement and for steel sections so all things you can do in the define in the menu bar in the define material properties there are already default properties 4000 psi uh, uh, 50 grade 60 grade 270 grade these are the predefined so i will uh, define the materials from the scratch for example now i am going in the define uh, add new material so here is a for example region china europe india united states or if you are using an astm uh, materials for example uh, reinforcement for 20 grade so definitely that will satisfy the astm standard so you can use uh, the respective country so if the materials of your country is have different properties you can use the user defined so now i am clicking the united states in the material type for example the first of all i will define the concrete there are many materials steel concrete aluminium mastery strength so here i am defining concrete so standard there are also preset standard for example uh, so if i select standard customary then there is already preset uh, concrete section strength defined uh, fc prime 3000 psi 4000 psi 5000 or uh, uh, for example i am going in the user i will define myself for example i want to define a 28 megapascal strength so i will click ok here i will define fc prime equal to 28 megapascal so material type is concrete uh, directional symmetry type there is two isotropic and orthotropic so our uh, we assume that our concrete is homogeneous so that's why we will select isotropic material display color you want to change you can change but uh, it is okay for me so for example material notes you can write anything for example this is a concrete 28 days cylinder strength so these are just nodes you can enter according to your requirement so this is the concrete density that's the uh, weight density and that is the mass density here now that is available kg per meter cube here is a weight density in kilonewton 23.5631 if uh, your concrete has some but little different value then you can change here so then uh, that's the modulus of elasticity of concrete definitely that depends upon the concrete uh, slender strength 28 day slender strength so we will change it later poison's ratio for concrete that is 0 0.2 coefficient of thermal expansion that is also okay shear modulus is this one so where is the uh, 28 megapascal that is present in the material property design data here is i have defined the 28 megas but that is somewhere 27.58 that is due to uh, 4000 psi conversion so i will put here 28 megapascal if my concrete is lightweight i can also uh, put the reduction factor but i am okay with that 28 megapascal okay so i will here uh, now change the modulus of elasticity i will just write the formula for the I, si system 4700 multiply by fc prime is 28 megapascal 28 power 0 0.5 i have written that 4700 under root fc prime so i will hit ok software automatically adjusts 24000 megapascal uh, so that's all for the concrete okay so here is my material if uh, I want to make a copy of this material I will just for example I also want 24 megapascal for my slab for example this is for columns for slab uh, mostly the strength is lower 
so i want to uh, define one more concrete material that is of 24 megapascal i will hit ok uh, click click on add copy of material just name it fc prime equal to 24 megapascal so here i will put 24 okay and again i will also change the modulus of elasticity uh, by the formula of 4700 under root fc prime okay now the rest of the things are okay okay now i have also defined the two materials of the concrete so now i will define a new material for reinforcement for rebar here united states now i will define the material rebar that is for reinforcement that is also preset given so definitely i will try to select the astm a615 that is mostly used so there is an option if I want the 40 grade steel, 60 grade steel, 75, so it depends upon the requirements of your project or the availability of material. So, for example, I am selecting the 60 grade steel, okay. Okay. Fy equal to 420 mega Pascal, okay now that is for reinforcement mm, material type rebar and direction symmetry that 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 is definitely uniaxial that is the uh, density that is the modulus of velocity that is constant for uh, for steel uh, 200 gpa 200 gigapascal so here we can see our properties minimum yield strength if uh, you are using uh, the material the uh, steel stand mostly come that is 420 so you can just add it 420 and that is 620 and expected yield strength is basically 1.1 times of this one and uh, this uh, expected tensile strength that is ultimate 1.1 uh, times of this one for example i have changed the value of yield strength i will just multiply 1.1 multiply by 420 okay now uh, the expected yield strength is 462 megapascal okay so that is defined we i have defined in the material of 420 megapascal okay so similarly you can also define the material of uh, 3000 uh, 300 megapascal steel so sim uh, you can just create add a copy and then you can uh, add the, uh, the properties so now i am defining the uh, steel property for steel sections for example w l so for these type of sections i will select steel so here is a grade 50 uh, or mostly in our design section we use astm a uh, 36 steel okay so let's check its strength that is a 248 so in our design box or design calculations we use 250 megapascal so that's how you can also change these properties but um, mostly we work with 250 megapascal that's value is okay for uh, 400 megapascal is ultimate so you can also study here the rest of the properties that is the Fy equal to 250 megapascal. Okay, here I will put steel section so that it will differentiate from the rebar. So, whenever I select the material, so I memorize that this is properties for the steel sections, not for the reinforcement. So, that's how we can define the materials for our project. And in the next lecture, uh, I will discuss how uh, we can define the section properties, for example, uh, beam for beam section, for column section. So all these properties I will discuss in the next video. Thanks.